DJ Opportunity, welcome to our weekly crypto news and market update video. And today we will talk about the FTX and Bitcoin price correlation because this was higher than macro events. And this is a report published by Masari, and we will take a look on this later on. But they, so to speak, said that the FTX collapse had impact, but the federal funds rate hikes of 75 and 50 basis points were just having a low impact because around the FTX drama, the active wallets increased by 2% and that caused the sell-offs. All in all, the key result is that unlike other US asset classes, Bitcoin is orthogonal to monetary and macroeconomic news. This disconnect is puzzling as unexpected changes in discount rate should in principle affect the price of Bitcoin even when interpreting Bitcoin as a purely speculative asset. And when we're taking a look over here, we can see that the FTX collapse and drama impacted the market huge, while all the other news just had, so to speak, small impact on the market. And so here, Masari is right, the FTX drama was the main reason why Bitcoin dumped in Q4 2022. But even if we've seen a positive January, February is quite negative and red and so we're tapping a three weeks low as the SEC fears liquidate some of the crypto longs. We can see the nice uptrend in January. Since February, we are stuck with the consolidation and now with smaller sell-offs. Crypto wipeout mounts as Bitcoin price losses 22k. We can see the supply zone around 22 and we lost it and now the next support zone is quite above 21. We've seen we touch a few resistances and stuff like this. So all in all, the market trend is short term a little bit negative as well. We can see that the profits on longs were quite huge. And so a lot of people booked profits, but people who were just too risky in the market got liquidated. And it's the highest long liquidation since the start of the year and how you can see things November. So quite a huge impact on longs that we've seen within the last days. Analysts are looking for 16th K again for bottom confirmation for a good buyback point. But a lot of people are thinking that 22, um, the 20K or even 19K is quite more a realistic scenario. Let's see where we are heading to. If the SEC will continue to push out, we will definitely see these levels. If markets are relaxing a little bit, we can see some nice returns or just some nice short-term bounces very soon. But Kraken reaches a 30 million settlement with SEC and is shutting down the staking service in the United States. The SEC said that it had charged with failing to register the offer and sale of the crypto asset staking as a service program and they said that they are not only offered investors outsized returns untethered to any economic realities, but also retain the right to pay them no returns at all. And so they think this is not legit. And so now Kraken will stop their staking service. And this seems to be quite an outcome that the FTX drama had. Because now the SEC say, okay, we need to show some threats. We need to show that we are the ruler and that we will regulate the sector. And so now they starting their, so to speak, war against crypto companies cracking here with a settlement right before it was Coinbase. Back in the day, it was Ripple and stuff like this. And the SEC share a thing, don't have your hand in the customer's pocket using their funds for your own platform. And what he asked, well, said is that the people should work quite in a positive way for the people and here he's saying okay we are having a conflict we are having a conflict between the FTC and some of the products offered and now we need settlements here as well you can see and you can take a look on this interview that he gave and there you can dig deeper into and they're saying they are they will arrive with conflicts. So a lot of conflicts here in the market. Short term, this is negative. Long term, it could lead to good regulations. Let's see where we are heading to. But the SEC is, so to speak, top news this week. And this having an impact on seven day performance. Everything in the red of the crypto sector with sell-offs. And we as well fell below the $1 trillion mark. And you can see over here the levels from before above the one trillion mark we could not hold now we're hanging around these levels exactly on this level this is just a psychology 
line. But psychology-wise, of course, it would be good for the market to stay above this $1 trillion level. Let's see if we can hit into there again this week. If I'm taking a look on the last movements, we can see these are the lowest levels since 20 of January, so quite a huge sell-off within the last days. And taking a look on Bitcoin, we can easily see we have built a resistance zone here at 23,300. This is as well a lower resistance than we had before. So the, here the first sell-off already took place. And then the SEC and all this stuff coming along within the last week. And all in all, there was no positivity last week in the market. We found a good support line down here at 21,500. And this we touched two times and always bounced a little bit. So let's see if it can hold as a support. After the negative news, we had a low volatile weekend. All in all, we've seen sell-offs in Bitcoin of around 8% from resistance to support line and a low volatile weekend with a max volatility of around 2.2%. So all in all, here you cannot really do something. If you went in with shorts over here, you could earn some money within the last week. Otherwise, no chance really for earning money. Now we're having a low volatile sideways movement. We have this negative energy in this market so let's see if this support can hold if not i would predict that we could go even lower easily but if the market is going to chill a little bit if the sec is saying something positive and stuff like this we easily could go back to the levels of 22 600 because due to the sell-off there is so to speak a no support and no resistance hole between 23 400 and 22 000 per Bitcoin, so this whole area is really without any support or resistance. So once we're going up, we could easily rush through these levels because if you're taking a look on these levels, the first real resistance that was formerly a support is at around 22,700. So here is quite $1,000 potential of upwards movement without any real support or resistance line, but for the moment it's very news-based and the SEC is ruling and dominating the market at the moment. So keep safe. And just taking a look on the market when there is a clear trend, because in this low volatile sideways movement, you cannot really trade or do something good or having a big impact on the market. I hope you liked this video. If you do so, I would love you to comment, like or share it. And we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly crypto news and market update provided by TROX.